We're in the cemetery where funny man Leslie Nielsen is buried. Of course, he was a very hilarious guy. The Naked Gun series, Airplane, lots of hilarious movies. He's got a funny saying on his headstone, we've heard. We're going to take a peek at it and show it to you guys. We cordially invite you to come along. Come along. One of the top 100 movie lines of all time, according to American Film Institute, came courtesy of Leslie Nielsen in the 1980 movie Airplane, when he asked Ted Stryker, played by Robert Hayes, can you fly this plane and land it? To which Stryker says, surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley, he replied. It was the type of comedy Nielsen was known for in his later years, but life didn't start out all fun and laughter for Nielsen. He was born on February 11, 1926, in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. His father was a Royal Canadian Mounted Police Officer, and he had two brothers. The family was raised in the tiny, frigid town of Fort Norman, which was only 200 miles from the Arctic Circle. He said there were 15 people in the tiny little village including the five in his own family. He also pointed out that if his father arrested someone, he'd have to wait until the thaw to turn him in. At some point during his childhood, he got sick and lost most of his hearing. He was legally deaf for the rest of his life. When he got into acting, he always used hearing aids so he could know exactly when it was time for him to come in with his line. He called the hearing aids his lifeline. Nielsen also said during his childhood, his father used to beat him, along with his brothers and mother. As soon as he could, he left the family home for the military. He enlisted in the Royal Canadian Air Force and was very excited to finally be away from his father. His brother Eric also served in the Royal Canadian Air Force, flying 50 missions in World War II and later becoming Deputy Prime Minister of Canada from 1984 through 1986. As he got older, he decided he no longer liked the cold of Canada and figured it was time to move here to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where he lived in a condo on the beach. In 1993, Nielsen wrote a supposed autobiography called The Naked Truth, where he laid out several things in his life that obviously did not happen, such as claiming he won two Academy Awards and calling himself one of the most important actors in Hollywood history. He made three fake golf instructional videos, which at least portions of them can still be found on YouTube, called Bad Golf Made Easy, Bad Golf My Way, and Leslie Nielsen's Stupid Little Golf Video. Director David Zucker said, one of Nielsen's favorite things was his fart machine. Zucker said he had that little fart machine of his so that every time he was interviewed on a show or something, and in real life, he would be talking with a straight face, and then he would appear to be farting. That's just what he liked to do. And sure enough, right here on his headstone, he left one final flatulence joke for all of us to enjoy. Let her rip. When young actors would ask Nielsen for advice, he would apparently always tell them to sit down whenever you can, which is what he had inscribed on his bench in front of his grave. Nielsen died in his sleep at 5.30 p.m. on November 28, 2012, at the age of 84 of complications from pneumonia, surrounded by his family and friends. The Naked Gun theme song was played as the Canadian Mounted Police carried his body into the funeral home for the private family funeral. Well, we found our way to the back of the cemetery where there are a lot of various birds that are hungry. Heather's been holding on to this bag of bread for a long time. So we figure this is a good spot 
to use it at. <laughs> oh.